guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. feminine to this week's yin reading from May the 31st until June the 8th. I hope you're all doing well. I'm using uh, Dorian Virtue's Romance Angel cards I just picked up. So I'm going to do a split yin, yin yang, uh, yin yang reading. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll pull the cards first and then I'll go through the positions. Okay, so let's look at the overall energy for the next week. Let go of control issues. Um, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, so, you know, this card talks about obviously letting go of control issues. You can't um, force a situation, um, you can't manipulate a situation. You just have to allow it to be. Let me just look at the card real quick here. Let go. Oh. So ask for, oh, no, sorry. Um, step out of the way. So you're outlining, you have expectations about a person, um, how they should behave, how they should act. And, um, so that's going to set you up for disappointment. And, yeah, if you try to control a situation, it just leads to frustration, and it actually slows the progress. So practice positive thinking as an overall energy. <clears throat> All right, so how do you feel about yourself? Children. You, your love life is being affected by children. So this could be literal, um, but the other two meanings is one, be more playful, um, be more childlike, innocent, free with your actions. And that, that was actually an overall um, message from the universe for the masculine to be childlike, um, be adventurous. Um, the other meaning is to resolve childhood issues, childhood traumas. So there is, um, you know, something that you're working on internally. Um, that needs healing, okay, or it could literally mean that you are focusing your attention on your children right now. How do you feel about the masculine? Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love, love, love life right now. So notice again how the energy is away from the masculine. This was a card that you uh, picked up, I believe, in the June energy reading. So your attention is focused too much on the 3D reality. Now this is how you feel about the masculine. So you feel, you know, that there's too many barriers uh, financially separating the two of you. Um, now the message to this card is to be childlike, be, you know, innocent and free. You need to play more. You're, you're spending too much time um, working. So you may see the masculine as the one who's doing a lot of the you know, retreating because he's working too hard. Or this could be you. Um, you don't have any time to focus on the masculine because there are things that you need to take care of in 3D reality. All right. So in the extended reading, I'm probably going to do a little bit of reading, okay? As well as to pull uh, three clarifiers per position. So the link for that will be below. So how do you feel about the relationship? Free yourself. Wow, ladies, this is crazy synchronicities. Exactly the same energy that I was picking up at the Twin Flame reading and the uh, June. So you want to take back control of your life, actually. You know, the overall energy is let go of control issues, but this card talks about it's time to take back control of your life. And so this is how you view the relationship. 
um, you feel that it is entrapping you or um, maybe you feel trapped by your situation and you want to be free but you feel locked out and that was definitely a theme um, that mental blockage okay so you desire to um, either free yourself from the re relationship free yourself from control um, or you desire to be allowed to be let back in like you feel locked out of the connection all right so what is your fear pay attention to red flags oh my god so this was the, you know a, a card again that keeps showing up but it, this is also how the masculine viewed you now you're you know this card talks about the signs that signs are cautioning you that you you need to either pay attention to someone's behavior you know how they're acting um, are they taking on characteristics of some people from your past your past relationships you know are you noticing addictive behaviors um, listen to your intuition if something feels like it's wrong or amiss then you know listen to that okay so you fear that the signs that you're receiving are you know maybe they're negative signs and they're, they're kind of pushing you away from the connection you feel that maybe there's no way to fix this relationship um, yeah I, I you know I feel very strongly you really want to disconnect you want freedom you want to be able to do your own thing you're you're letting go of the relationship or the connection on on some level now notice how you know it's the masculine sitting here and the feminine's kind of walking away again the energy is pointing away from the connection very reminiscent of the twin flame for sure all right so what do you want true love this is the romance of a lifetime so the masculine got this for what he feared what you want is passion love you want to be able to express your emotions um, you you don't want any barriers any burden any fears to come in the way and that's all I see happening so you, this is also a frame of mind right if you're in a romantic mood and you're you're giving love then you will receive love you will attract that love into your life but if you're having it you know as a lack this is what you want then you always feel like you're lacking you know so you have to feel that one um, feel committed to yourself first before you can be in a committed relationship or attract that person into your life right so um, what will be flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others awesome uh, the masculine got express your love so you guys are mirroring each other as a final outcome flirt again childlike inner energy very playful um, making eye contact uh, you know going on a date getting intimate and connecting with somebody on a deep emotional level is what this card is about and I'll probably read it in the extended reading very beautiful all right so let's pull a final message from the universe I think I pulled the what did I do I think I did the Osho Zen for this one. No, I did it for the extended. So we'll leave this for the extended. And I think I used the Call It Baron Read. Yes, I did. Wisdom of the Oracle. That one. Serendipity. I love that movie serendipity that's what this card reminds me of that they're you know this couple in the movie 
with John Cusack. I can't remember who the feminine was. Um, but they just kept on bumping into each other, you know, and they, they shared that deep twin flame connection. Um, you know, they felt that it was meant to be. So this card also talks about luck. So let me read it. Okay. So opportunity allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, magical alignment of events. So pay attention to red flags. It's kind of pointing to your, you're really in tune with people's energy, what they're doing, how they're acting, that kind of thing. But maybe you should be paying more attention to the ethereal uh, signs, you know, like the 1111. Um, what is the universe trying to say to you? Okay, so spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey, someone spirit wants you wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan for this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. Okay, so out of your hands, letting go, allowing spirit to bring yourself or bring your masculine to you. There's nothing you need to do. And don't you feel that way, right? Just the craziest synchronicities continue to line up with your twin flame and they're undeniable. Um, it's almost like you, you know, you definitely share the same life path, um, but it's almost like you guys are living parallel lives. And so there's, you know, you're bound to connect over and over and over again because you share the same interests. All right, so um, please let me know if this resonates. I love your comments. I read them all. Um, I don't have a chance to respond to them all, but I value your opinion so very much, guys. Um, so leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. All right, we'll see you next week. Cheers.